Alright guys, welcome to your 20th MySQL tutorial. Congratulations on making it this far, but I will have to say that you better be ready to get your mind blown in about one minute because that's what I'm about to do. What I'm about to teach you guys is about subqueries. Now what a subquery is, is a query inside another query. Inception. So it sounds weird, it is, but it can come in useful a whole lot. So let me go ahead and show you guys a really quick example first. Now the first example I want to show you guys, I have to admit, it's pretty useless and there's a lot easier way that you can do this, but it's the easiest example I can possibly think of. So say we wanted to do something like we have all of these items on our website, our eBay website. Now what we want to do is we want to list the items whose price is above average. So how do we solve this problem? Let's take this a step at a time. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add up the price of all of these items and get the average. Once we have the average price, we can use that number to list all the items that are greater than that price. For example, if the average price of these items was $500, we would figure that out first and then once we figured out the average price is $500, we would list all the items greater than $500. Sounds simple? Well now we have to figure out how to do it using computer code. So with MySQL the first thing that we need to do is figure out the average of all the items. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and select the average cost from items. Now let's go ahead and copy this and make sure that you copy it as well because we're going to need this query later on. Whenever we hit go we get the answer of four hundred and sixty three and ninety three cents. So the average price of all of these items is four hundred and sixty three dollars. So what I want to point out is we can go ahead and just write that down on a piece of paper next to our computers or take note of this. This entire query is basically equal to the value four hundred and sixty three. So later on instead of using the numerical value 463 we can just go ahead and use this entire query as well so basically whenever we would type in the number 463 we can just go ahead and type in this query instead and it'll be the exact same thing so go ahead and remember to copy or you know cut that as well so you have that because we're going to be using that query later on so now that we have the average of 463 what we need to do is we need to list all of the items greater than that price. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So select name and cost from items where the cost is greater than. And now this is where we can type 463 just like that. And then we can go ahead and order by cost descending. And whenever we run this, check it out. It basically lists all of the items that are greater than 463 or what we can do is we can run a query inside a query aka a subquery so remember how I told you that you can just go ahead and plug in 463 right there well that's nice and all but let's go ahead and learn how to use subqueries go ahead and delete that number and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some white space so this is probably a little bit easier to see now inside your parentheses I'll give you guys a bunch of white space so you can clearly see it. Just go ahead and add that query before. So now how my SQL is going to work is like this. The very first thing it's going to do, well, let me take a step back and explain to you guys how my SQL works. My SQL runs its queries from the inside out. The very first thing it figures out is what's in between its parentheses. So before it runs this entire query, it's going to figure out what's in between these parentheses first. So it's going to get the average cost from the items, which is 463. And then it's going to treat this string not as a string anymore, but as the numerical value 463. So it's going to say, okay, select the name and cost from items where cost is greater than 463 order by cost descending. So it's basically the exact same as the query we ran last time when we specifically typed in the number, but check it out. Whenever we run it this time, it runs the inside query first and then the outside query, and that's what you get. So if you're saying, okay, 
Bucky, first of all, this is a really useless query because instead of having this, you could just go ahead and type in average cost and it would be the same. Well, yes it is, but then how would I explain subqueries? Well, I know this is a useless example in that there are easier ways to do this, but I just want to show you guys a very simple subquery. And in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys when you would actually use a subquery now that you understand the basics of how they're used in a useful example. So again, I know this example was very simple and very useless, but in the next tutorial, I promise you guys, I'll show you guys when you would use this that would actually come in handy. And another thing, before I show you guys that example, I want to mention this. You know how we just figured out the value then typed in 463? Whenever you're running a computer program, you just can't wait for users to figure out values and then type them in somewhere else later on. They need to do everything automatically, so that's when you would do this. And also, if you needed a very specific value, whenever we typed in 463, we rounded a whole bunch of numbers off whenever you needed a very specific value this would give you a more specific value than just copying a number from somewhere else so you know what I'm just gonna shut up and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video